Whoa. Let's get this camera set up here. Jennifer McCreeth here. Um, hello once again. Um, this is St. John's Newfoundland Pride Educational Forum video. I'm pre-recording this uh, specifically because I, if I get up and talk in person, I'll probably talk too long. Uh, there's a time limit here. Um, today we're going to talk about bisexuality, pansexuality. Um, we've all heard the words gay, lesbian, and straight. Um, but that's not all, folks. Uh, there are some people who identify as none of those three. And ultimately, uh, I guess the, the easiest way that certain folks in society have determined to label those would be the term bisexual, bi meaning two or both. Um, someone who is physically, romantically, sexually attracted to males and females. Um, Alfred Kinsey was an American sexologist that did a lot of uh, research and came up with a lot of theories on this concept back in the 1940s. Um, a lot of his work has been praised, some of it has been criticized, but uh, he basically studied human sexuality and patterns and behaviors and essentially determined that sexual orientation is not a black or white issue it's actually a sliding scale. He used a numbering system 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to classify sexual orientations. 3 being 50-50 by, while other numbers suggesting you may have tendencies to be more attracted to one sex over the other but still maintaining some interest in both at some point. Um, I guess uh, one of the biggest concerns or challenges is, uh, I guess, acceptance that there is, there really is bisexuality in this world, where, and the people who identify as bi are not mentally ill, they are not confused. Um, certain entities in the uh, straight community as well as the gay lesbian community have uh, suggested, well, there's really no such thing as this. Well, not true. Um, we are who we are. Sexual orientation, no matter what it is, is, is a self-identifying label. Nobody else in the world can tell you what your sexual orientation is, except yourself. You yourself can decide based on what's in here. Sometimes it's not always clear. Nothing wrong with saying my sexual orientation is quote, confused. It's, uh, it's a labeling scheme that you can apply to yourself. I don't like labels, that's another thing. Why can't we just be human beings if you're attracted to person A, person B? Pansexuality is a term that's used to kind of go above and beyond the so-called binary system of sex and gender, specifically to incorporate attraction or lack of attraction to trans people. Hang on one second. Oh, sorry about that. Um, for instance, uh, someone who's in the process of transitioning like myself. Legally, I'm recognized as a male, but uh, my outward presentation is woman. Um, so what does that mean if you find me attractive? Um, if you're a male who's attracted to me, does that make you gay or straight? Well, that's where this word pansexual comes into play. Um, another interesting concept would be the term you don't hear, gender orientation. Um, many of us identify as being sexually attracted to somebody based on their genitals. Um, how about those who say they're attracted based on gender? Um, you could potentially be attracted to women, um, but not necessarily females. Um, maybe you're attracted to me, maybe you're not. Um, you can be attracted to somebody without really knowing what, what genitals they have. Um, I think it's an interesting concept, and Kinsey did some work kind of exploring um, th things along those lines in terms of Maybe you don't think you're attracted to something or somebody, but uh, if you examine your behavior over the course of your life, you may take notice that at times you may find yourself attracted to somebody or something or some classification that you didn't think you were attracted to. And His, his numbers were quite staggering. I believe he reported that 47% uh, of males that he had interviewed had indicated at least one instance of uh, either sexual experience or sexual fantasy with same sex, even though these are men who identified as being straight. Um, he, another thing that Kinsey did was to, he looked at specific sexual behavior, things such as uh, infidelities and uh, 
I guess he looked basically determined that uh, human beings are, are very sexual and uh, it's always been a bit of a taboo subject to talk about sex and to assume that, uh, well, that's a, a closed door thing, but no. Um, we are all human beings and uh, except for those who are identified as asexual, we tend to desire love, affection, and sexual pleasure, sexual activities. And uh, many of us do in fact seek out such activities. Um, asexual, that's another interesting thing to mention. Some technically, the technical definition of asexual is someone who is not interested in sexual activities, nor do they perceive that to be a problem. That's not to be confused with someone who has no sex drive. Um, take me as an example. Uh, ever since I had uh, my phase one sex reassignment surgery, I've seen my sex drive go from very high to very low. And just because I may not have a high sex drive doesn't mean I actually do desire sex. So to label someone with a low sex drive as asexual would technically be incorrect. Um, what else can I say here? I'm really not an expert on this. I apologize that I'm the best uh, speaker I could come up with for this topic, but uh, I guess there's just not a lot of people that are openly out um, that are willing to, to talk about it. Um, I guess it's also a sign that society is not there in terms of uh, acceptance and embracing people who are self-identifying as either bisexual or pansexual. Um, I say this over and over in my trans lectures, we're all human beings. Um, just because we have something that's slightly diverse in terms of outside of what most consider to be the norm in terms of sexual orientation or, or gender identity doesn't necessarily mean we're not human beings. So we're not mentally ill. Um, being sexually attracted to somebody, um, there's no right way or wrong way to be. You are who you are, you're attracted to who you're attracted to. Having sexual thoughts or sexual desires does not make anyone mentally ill. Um, while that's outside of perhaps inappropriate, uh, illegal sexual activities, that's a whole other topic. People who perhaps are attracted to non-human objects. Uh, but uh, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I'll do my best to take your questions if you're watching this live at the lecture. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to post some comments. Um, if anyone else out there uh, has any thoughts, ideas, or most importantly corrections, I hate to put misinformation on the internet. If I've said anything that is not accurate, please do comment on this uh, so we can uh, get the correct information out there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And have yourself a great day.